what's up? It's Padi and welcome to my channel. Happy Foundation Friday! If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for Foundation Friday. In today's Foundation Friday, I will be doing a first impression on the Lancome Tint Miracle Radiant Foundation. I actually bought this on accident. I actually thought I was getting the Tint Idol Ultra Wear Long Wear Foundation. So I thought I was getting that one, but I ended up getting this one instead on accident. But we're doing it, and this is already on my face. It's been on my face for about an hour now, and I will let you guys know how I feel about it. But first, let's talk a little bit more about this product. So the shade that I have here is 320 Bisque W, and I believe this is supposed to be a medium with yellow undertones. So this does have an SPF of 15, and like I said earlier, it's a radiant foundation, so it has that lit from within look. Even on the packaging, it says lit from within makeup, natural skin perfection. So I'm kind of happy that I got this one instead because you guys know I'm all about that radiant skin, kind of glowy skin look. So I am so excited that I got this one instead. However, I do still really want to try the other one, the Tint Idol Ultra Long Wear Foundation. So that's one that I kind of want to do. So if you guys are interested in seeing that one, maybe not, maybe not next, but in the near future, then make sure to let me know down below if you guys are so down for me trying it because I do really want to try that one. So anyways, this guy retails for $47 and I think that you get a good ounce of product. It doesn't tell me here, but let's see. So I'm on the Ulta app right now and it does say that this has one ounce of product. So that is how much you get. You get a really nice, um, pump as well which is always a plus and I kind of just like how like sleek it is it just kind of fits really well in my makeup vanity let's just get into the demo and you can see how I applied the foundation and how the foundation looked and how it applied on my skin and my first impressions on it and then you know we'll just get to talking and see how this wears throughout the day so on this side of the face I am going to apply the foundation using the Sonia Kashuk beauty sponge and on this side of the face, I couldn't decide if I wanted to use the F82 Round Kabuki or the F80 Flat Kabuki Brush from Sigma. But I think... I think I'm going to use the round kabuki today um, to apply the foundation on this side of the face. Before I go in with the foundation, I am going to prime using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Instant Retouch Primer. Um, I just thought that I would use something that I would normally use and I always use primer. So I'm not going to skip that step for this first impression. Just going to apply one pump each. And by the way, I have already prepped my skin, so I like cleanse, toned, moisturized, all that goodness. If you guys want to see my morning skincare routine, I will link that video down below. It's one of my more recent ones. Um, so that is what I do to prep my skin to do foundation. So now that I have primed, I'm going to apply the foundation all over the face. So let's go in with the foundation. Okay, hopefully this is the right shade for me. Okay, so I have one pump on the back of my hand right now, and I'm just gonna take my finger and apply that to my face. Okay, I'm gonna start in this area, and we'll see how it goes. And how I like to use this is because it has a flat edge here, I like to kind of just pounce on the flat edge instead of like the body of it, I like to do it at the bottom. So just doing it like this and it makes like blending in my foundation so fast. So on the bottle here it says lit from within makeup natural skin perfection and like so far that is what it looks like. I am like so glowy. I love this. <gasps> this is amazing. Okay.
it's more of a like light, light medium coverage. Definitely not even medium yet, so maybe let's try to build it up a little bit more. My skin looks really, really radiant and I'm actually here for this. So I'm here for it so far, however I do wish that it had more coverage. So let's try the other side and maybe I can get better coverage using a brush. My skin has been like super dry lately, so it's not really liking the application with a brush. Can you see how like glowy it's making my skin? I absolutely love that about this. I'm not getting like a good coverage that I wish for, so I'm going to apply more and see what we can do. So I think that the shade looks really good, but the one thing that I love about this foundation that I have said so many times already is that it just looks so good. It makes my skin look super radiant. I'm gonna try maybe one more layer of foundation. So I'm gonna start on this side. And let's see, like I'm, I'm hoping that I don't mess anything up or make anything look too cakey or nasty. Um, so let's, let's just try it and let's see if we can at least build it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with another pump on each side. Um, so let's give this a try. Wow, okay, so that made the biggest difference. Okay, so now I'm more like medium to full. I'm not quite full, but this, this I like. And I'm really, really liking this side of the face and I'm loving the application process using a beauty sponge. I really like this. And if you haven't tried the Sonia Kashuk one, I definitely recommend trying it because it just makes your foundation application just so fast. Okay, so now I'm going to apply another pump to the other side of the face using a brush to blend it in. I'm like so nervous because my skin's already really, really dry, so hopefully it doesn't get more dry. Please, no dry patches. So I'm just kind of like stippling it on, just kind of patting it like this. I kind of really want to go in with the beauty blender so I don't ruin anything, because I feel like if I start doing this, it might get too dry. Okay, so I'm going to cave in and I'm gonna use my beauty blender on this side. Just please understand me, I have really dry skin right now because it is getting cold, so I'm sorry, but I'm gonna use this. All right, so that is my face so far. And it's looking really good, like very close to full coverage. So I'm here for this foundation. So far, so good. I'm going to finish up my makeup now and I will be back to talk to you guys about this foundation a little bit more. The time is now 4.46 and we'll see how well this foundation holds up. All right, so that was it for the foundation application process. What did you guys think? Did you guys like that I used a blender on half the side of the face and a brush for the other side of the face? However, I did cheat a little bit. But did you guys like that or would you guys rather have me just stick to one tool what are your ideas and what do you guys want me to do because I know that not everybody likes using blenders and not everybody likes using brushes and I feel like foundations do wear differently but because I have dry skin I had to cheat on this side I just had to because it just would have looked really dry if I didn't so so far I am loving the foundation let's do a check-in it is actually let's close it up it is actually six o'clock right now, so I've been wearing this foundation for, I think I checked in at around 4.40. Why can't I remember? 
but I think it's been about an hour and 15 minutes then. So, so far I'm really liking the foundation. It feels really lightweight, like I'm not wearing a heavy foundation, but it is covering a lot, so that's really nice. You guys did see in the application process that I needed to do two full pumps on each side in order to get a good full coverage. So if you aren't into that and if you want something that just gonna give you that full coverage right away, then I would say skip this foundation. However, if you're looking for some radiant coverage and you want something that is buildable, like you can do light coverage one day and full coverage the next, then this is a good foundation for you. So, so far, so good and I'm really liking it. I just love how it does have that like lit from within look and like my skin just looks really, really healthy, really natural, really glowy. So that I really, really like about this. I also actually really like that this was a really good foundation match because I'm at such like an awkward stage, like I'm not quite dark like I was in the summer and I'm not as light as I'm gonna get so I kind of like that this is kind of like the in-between that it's kind of perfect for this season right here fall so I'm really loving it um, so far it looks really good it's not making me feel oily or look oily at all so I'm liking it let me know if you guys would like to see me do concealer and powder and all of that in these videos I just feel like it's always the same steps so you guys let me know um, this one's gonna be different because I didn't do the concealer on camera I didn't do the powder on camera if you guys don't say anything then I think I'm just gonna keep it short so we focus just on the foundation and not on anything else so today I'm actually gonna be going to the gym I'm gonna go work out and I'm also gonna go play some volleyball so this is gonna be tested in sweat which I kind of wish that I would have chose a better day to test this foundation out because I don't know if I'm giving this foundation a fair chance. Like if it does end up breaking up, this doesn't say it's like sweat proof or anything. So you know what I mean? So I just, I don't know, but we'll see how it looks after going to the gym and after playing some volleyball, how it looks because I know I'll be sweating. I think what I'm gonna do is just do one last check-in after this one and I will let you know how it wore throughout the day. Hey guys, so I'm doing my last check-in right now. It is 11.44, so I've been wearing this foundation for about seven hours. And you know what? I've gotta say that I think it's a pretty good one because I was playing sports with the foundation on and I went to the gym and I sweated so much today and like actually it looks really good especially like considering the fact that I went to the gym and I sweated so so much so like the forehead area looks fine the um outer perimeter of the face looks fine the only part that doesn't look okay is like the nose area and like the cheek area so like the foundation kind of settled in the cheek lines but I mean quick fix just kind of blending it in they kind of settled under the eyes just kind of blending it again and again so like quick fi fixes and then the reason why I say the nose area is because I blew my nose but I mean I think overall this is a really good foundation so I definitely give this foundation a thumbs up. So thank you so much for watching this Foundation Friday. If you have a foundation that you would like me to try and apply on my face, then make sure to leave it down in the comment section down below and I will try my best to try it and feature it in one of these videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching Foundation Fridays. I will see you guys in my next video and as always, have a beautiful day. Bye!